Come on and get on down to the city, city. where the trains all clatter through. Hey, look at that driver driving. I want to ride that train on blue. I'm looking way up high to the windy. Take a peek from inside view. All those people busy working. I want to see what they all do. Come on, let's be round the market. And do you hear that hullabaloo? Everybody's busy selling. I want to buy me something new. Look through the arches under the station, down where the pigeons perch and coo. Take a taxi ride to the river. I want to drive down the avenue. Hey, look at those buses gleaming. They look so clean and spanking new. All lined up to drive around the city. Let me ting that bell to the loo. I'm gonna ride on right to the school stop where the children hurry through. Sit down, the teacher's teaching. I'd love to learn a thing or two. Me too. I love to skip in River Seat Angle. River Seat Angle by the sea. I love to skip in River Seat Angle. River Seat Angle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city. Where the fairy box stands in blue. Time to call on Granny Murray. She'd love to say hello to you. Honey pie, come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Ellie. But don't just sit there, my wee treasures. Come on, let's get busy. There's nothing better than a few exercises to get us going in the morning. This. She got her hands and run back down ten times. Go! One, two, three, your knees up to your chin. That's it, and right. Oh, you two must be super fit. <laughs> well, we've got Ellie and we've got Molly, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Please can we go to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Raymond with Lisa. Hello, dear. <laughs> Raven! Hiya, Granny Molly. Oh, and Lisa! Come! Oh. Oh, oh. oh, it looks like everyone is as fit as a fiddle in here today. Oh, that's right. I've joined an exercise class and I've been showing the children some of my new exercises. Oh, sound goes to me, Elise. <laughs> but now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. Hey, my darlings, why don't you dress Claude up as a keep fit instructor <laughs> and we can jog over to our chairs. Oh, oh, oh. Get those knees up! <laughs> well, I'm very impressed with your keep fit and because you've been working so hard at it, I've selected you to take part in the very special promotion I'm running in the Buffy car today. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Try one of these sensational snack crumbles. Ooh, they look tasty. They are delicious and they're so crumbly. <laughs> oh, but before you take Granny Murray, make sure you have something to collect all the crumbs. <laughs> right you are. And when you eat it, eat it very delicately or else the crumbs will go all over the place. OK. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. Oh, yes, they're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> oh, there's no use. I can't resist. Raymond! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry. But it might be better to always take the advice you give. You're right. Now, I'm going to take the advice I give, and that's to keep fit. So come on, let's jog over to Claude. <laughs> Woo! Oh, ho -ho. Claude, you look so fit. <laughs> oh, doesn't he? Well done, my darlings. Ooh. This is for you. Oh, thanks, Lise. Oh, wow, he looks fit. <laughs> right, big hugs. <laughs> I better get to work. Come on, you. Cheer one out. Now remember, always take the advice you give. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? 
thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I take a ticket, ticket on the metro. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the train lines. Clatter, clatter, clatter at the point. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter through the streets. Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I really, really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we're here. But before I can get down to some work, I have to change. So, busy, busy, busy. All dressed and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the nine o'clock from Riversea Fingal to Drumtown is now departing from Platform 4. And today is the day of my special Snack Crumble promotion. <laughs> Try Snack Crumble, the most delicious, scrumptious snack to be found anywhere. Now, I bet the rush will start any minute. Oh, Dr. Juno! Oh, hi, Raymond. You are my first customer of the day. Am I? I'm in a bit of a rush. Oh, oh. oh, oh don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you, Raymond. I'm doing a publicity campaign for the Drive for Healthy Eating. Look, it says, if it's a snack, don't take the biscuit, take the fruit. That's a really good piece of advice, Dr Juno. Oh, thank you, Raymond. Oh, I spoke to your management. They said it was all right to hand out some leaflets on the train. Oh, good idea. Maybe you could hand out some leaflets for me. Oh, no probs. I'll just put them next to the display for my snack crumbles. Right, thank you, Raymond. Right, I've got a dash. And why don't you try one of my delicious... Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I wonder how my little Lisa's getting on. <laughs> I love to skip in River Seeping, River Seeping, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Seeping, go River Seeping, go that's for me. Yee! Remember to hold on to the railing when you go down the stairs, darling. You too, Granny Murray. Oh yes, me too. Your dad would be very proud of how careful we're being. Where's your train now, Daddy? Hello, Raymond. How are you? Oh, hi, Mickey John. Hey, what can I get you? Ah, what have you got? Well, you could take part in the special promotion today I'm running in the Buffy car. Try one of these delicious snack crumbles. Oh, they look good. I'll have one of those. In fact, make it two. They look so tasty. Well, there you go. Oh, and here is a leaflet from Dr Juno. Oh, right, thank you. If it's a snack, don't take the biscuit. Take the fruit. Oh, that's very good advice, you know, Raymond. Uh, I don't think I'll have these two snack crumbles. I think I'll have a nice piece of fruit instead. Oh, so uh, nice uh, juicy apple for me, please, Raymond. Well, that's, uh, that's 50 pence, please. Thanks, Raymond. See you later. Oh. Suppose I better go on with some hard work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Six, six, seven, seven, one, eight, five. So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to the way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way. I love my train. Is this a snack crumble I see before me? No, it's a whole pile of them. And we're on our way back to Riversea Fingal. 
Some of these should have been eaten by now. Hiya, Raymond. Oh, hi, Dr. Juno. How are the leaflets doing? Oh, very well, actually. Oh, they have, haven't they? Mm. Here, have some more. Hi, you two. Hi, Ray. What you got there? Ooh, these are a special promotion of delicious snack crumbles. The crumbliest, most delicious snack ever. Sounds good, Ray. Yeah, we'll take a couple of those, please, Raymond. Oh, yay! Have some of these. Mm. Ooh, and look. Mm. If it's a snack, don't take the biscuit. Take the fruit. <laughs> uh, actually, Ray, can we, we have, have some fruit, fruit instead, please? please? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, no. I've none left. Oh, no sweat. We'll get some fruit once we remove a single. Yeah. Oh, no. Have some snack crumbles instead. No thanks, dude. Do mm. I, do I, do I, do I, do I, I wonder how you're getting on, Lise. I'd love to skip in Bersie Bingo, Bersie Bingo, by the sea. I'd love to skip in Bersie Bingo, Bersie Bingo, that's for me. Now, Lisa, remember you need to look left and right before you cross the road, and you must always hold hands. Right, that's us. Daddy, Muddy, hands. Oh, sorry, Lisa. Yes, you're right. Oh, I wonder what your dad's doing now. <laughs> Oh my gosh! We'll be in River Sea Fingal any moment. I must do the stock take. Right. Juice. Juice. Check. Sugar. Oh, I must replenish the sachets. Right. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Well. Oh. That should be plenty. Right. Fruit. Oh. I haven't got any left at all. I've completely sold out. And. Final promotion of the day. Snack crumbles. I haven't sold a single one. Oh, what's gone wrong? See, I've worked really hard all day to promote these delicious snack crumbles and I haven't sold a single one. Everyone seems to want to buy fruit and I haven't got any left. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock when I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's, Granny Murray was doing a keep fit routine with the children. The children dressed Claude as a keep fit instructor. He looked really fit. I gave Granny Murray one of my special promotion snack crumbles. She thought it was delicious. At nine o'clock, I was setting up my snack crumbles display when Dr. Juno came in the briefy car. She gave me a lot of healthy eating leaflets for people to take. At 10 o'clock, Mickey John came into the briefy car. He seemed very keen to try my snack crumbles, but then he changed his mind and had an apple instead. At two o'clock when the train was on its way back to Riversea Fingal, I still had just as many snack crumbles as ever. Chuck and Louie really fancied trying the snack crumbles, but when I gave them Dr Juno's leaflet, they changed their minds. They wanted some fruit, but there was none left. At three o'clock, I decided to do a stock take, and I discovered that I hadn't sold a single snack crumble, but that the fruit was completely sold out. Where did I go wrong? Now remember, Always take the advice you give. Always take the advice you give. Well, I'm giving people advice to eat a lot more fruit by giving out Dr Juno's leaflet. But really, I should be taking my own advice and giving them a lot more fruit to eat. What this boofy car needs is an awful lot more fruit. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong, I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. He's going to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. The train leaves River Sea Fingal, take two. This time the special promotion of the day, fruit.
Wow, Raymond, this looks very impressive. My healthy eating campaign must be working. Mm, so what can I get you? Oh, I fancy one of those snack crumbles you had earlier on. Have you got any left? Well, certainly, but would you not be better taking your own advice and having some fruit instead? Oh, these leaflets must be working. OK, I think I'll have a juicy apple. Mm -hmm. You'll be jumping with health. I will. And I'll soon be jumping home to see you in Riversea Fingal, my Lisa. <laughs> oh, I've made some lovely apple crumble for pudding, Lisa. But you'll need to finish up your dinner before you get some. You too, Granny Laddie. Oh, you're right, you know. OK, then. <laughs> Daddy will be here to pick you up soon. Where are you, Daddy? Daddy's here. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Yes. Oh, we certainly did, didn't we, darling? What do you say to Granny Murray? Thank you. Oh, oh. it's a pleasure. <laughs> and it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Always take the advice you give. It saved the day. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, quaking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, Sharing, choosing, talking, cooking.